Happy Tuesday, everyone. Well, high pressure in control of our area, as you can see, keeping us mostly clear skies. Plenty of fog to start out the day, though. And we also have a bit of an inversion layer. That's essentially a layer of air where we actually warm up with height in the atmosphere, as opposed to the very cold temperatures that we're seeing in a lot of the valley locations, even out on the coast. So frost, ice, and some freezing fog, all a concern early this morning. Be aware of that if you're heading out earlier today. Your satellite radar showing most of the precipitation, most of the cloud cover being pushed off to the north because of that high pressure ridge. And we're going to hold on to that ridge for a good portion of the week. As we look out on the coast, cloudy, then clearing with areas of frost early. Some patches of ice possible as well. Later tonight, mostly clear with some fog after midnight. A lot of your temperatures in the 50s, but some offshore winds could keep Brookings a little bit warmer. For the West Valleys, cloudy, then clearing. Some patchy freezing fog later tonight, mostly clear with fog returning after midnight. And with those freezing temperatures, 28, for example, in Medford late tonight into tomorrow. Freezing fog also possible. We'll see that east of the Cascades with mostly clear skies just about all day today outside of the fog. Your temperatures, though, do drop into teens once again. For the Rogue Valley, we're going to hold on to this pattern for a good part of the week, and that's why there's a stagnant air advisory at least until about Monday. And that's a long time to hold on to an advisory, but there's just not a lot of mixing, not a lot of winds that we could see over the next seven days. Klamath Basin also dealing with that. A little more cloud cover towards Thursday and Friday. Mount Shasta City, you'll avoid a lot of that at those higher elevations with a lot of your temperatures in the mid 40s and for the coast mostly clear skies just about every day over the next seven.